So when I was in the World Cup in 2015, I noticed that the referee was referring to the TMO way more often and he was staying with them for way longer. So I decided that I'd investigate and I came up, I went down to the Rugby Union website and I found that they actually had and uh, there'd been a climb in, in uh, referrals, average referrals per match. So then I, I decided that I wanted to make a voting system because I thought that a group of people making a decision would be much more efficient and uh, you'd have a better chance of making the right decision. So I got circuit boards online for the referee, which is this guy here, and the linesman, which is this guy here, and I just started doing some basic prototypes, so of them communicating over radio and uh, then turning an LED on and off with that, then that evolved into a screen displaying something, so just this thing here. And uh, then I started bringing more things in, so more ways of inputting information. So instead of just being able to send one signal, you can send different signals. So instead of just being able to say try, you can say try, no try, red card, yellow card, and all the rest. And um, then for the TMO, I um, actually made a website. So I've been learning HTML and CSS, which is website languages. Um, in, and uh, I've been learning them out in LIT in Code Dojo for the past two years, so I'm fairly familiar with that. Um, so I created a website and they, then I connected the TMO, which is on the laptop, to the referee. So you have your referee here and uh, what happens is if um, he's not too sure of what decision to make, he can just click this button right here and that sends a signal to the linesman requesting his vote and it sends one to the TMO requesting a vote too. The TMO can vote in his dashboard. He has a little drop down menu and he can just select whatever one he wants. For the linesman, he votes whatever he wants with his three LEDs and his accelerometer here, which is a motion sensor. And that sends a signal back to the referee requesting whatever one he clicked. So if he clicked try, it will come back try. And there's a type of code. So if you were, for the linesman, if you were to want to say try, we'll say, you'd put the first one on, second one off, and third one on. And uh, that sends 101 back to the referee, and the referee is able to display that. The science faculty, there's uh, six science teachers here, and we'd all be pretty involved. With the young scientists, we've been working on it for about five years now. And this year we're quite successful. We had two category winners and we came runner up in a, a third. Niall was our biggest winner. He um, won his category, which is a junior technology, and he also got a special award. He has been working at this morning, noon, and night. He's incredibly diligent. Um, it's, it's what he's passionate about, so he's put in a ton of work on it. My uncle actually, he went to university with Peter Fitzgibbon, who's a Munster video analyst, and he's TMO for the RFU. Um, he, yeah, he got in contact with him and he actually, I managed to get into the Monster headquarters and I got to speak to him about my project and uh, that kind of developed further and he managed to get me into the TMO box um, before the Monster Leinster match and I got to meet Nigel Owens before the match too and I got to talk to him about my project and Peter and uh, Nigel actually quite liked the idea. I also got to listen in to the referee during the match and I noticed that the TMO signal kept on dropping and uh, the it, the reason for this was because the TMO van is situated outside of the grounds, so he used to send the signal through all the concrete and steel. Um, so I thought uh, I'd leave Wi-Fi in my project because it's uh, much harder to take uh, down a Wi-Fi signal than it is radio. When Niall contacted us uh, through his dad, I was very interested in, in what he had to say about his project. It related directly to something I'm interested in in terms of, in terms of TMO and uh, obviously a rugby project as well. So. I met Niall, he, he talked me through his project and found it very, very interesting and fascinating that he, he was so innovative in terms of something completely new, something we hadn't seen before, so with a bit more refinement, a little bit more work on it, it's something that could be used practically in a, in a game of rugby. But, uh, it was time consuming but I enjoyed it anyway because it's my kind of area with the technology and rugby, so the two of them together is a perfect mix. Mm -hmm.